cackling that you're hearing in the background is John Arthur Martinez. He is <laughs> adjusting microphones, getting ready to perform for us here. In hey, our, girl. <laughs> hey. He's in our studio this morning. Good morning to you, John. Good to see you, buddy. Good morning. I'm here with Tim Stoller, the coordinator for Fiesta Jam. Yeah, and Fiesta Jam. And he looks surprisingly Jam. calm for being a coordinator for a big event like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've had a lot, of, uh, a lot of great events and really looking forward to bringing an annual event here to Marble Falls. Yeah. I'm so excited about this, and, and I do see it being an annual event. I have a feeling this is going to really take off and become a, another great uh, thing that folks can look forward to in Marble Falls. Yeah, I remember several months ago I was up in Horseshoe Bay at uh, Julie's up there having lunch, and uh, John was in, and John and I were, <laughs> were talking, and, and it was just kind of in the, the process of, uh, of putting it all together and coming out, and I said, hey, I think it's a great idea that you've, uh, that you've done this. But Tim, uh, you are the event producer of the show. Tell us what the event producer does. <laughs> well, we, uh, we help uh, keep the trains on time, make sure that... Uh, you know, everything goes well with load in, load out, um, the promotion of the event. Yeah. To just uh, help keep things in, in order and make sure it's a fun experience for the fans, the sponsors, and the artists. And you know what you're doing, too. You're president of ProLink, which is an, an, an events. Uh, uh, what, what would be the best way to put that? Or a promotion event. Promotion event. Company. Company. Gotcha. Uh, we've, we've done several events up at Dell Diamond. And the last big event we did out here was with, uh, we did our children's record with Pat Green and Corey Morrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Drew Womack and, um, um, who is our fourth? <laughs> Fourth person. <laughs> You've slept since oh, then. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, that's all right. Well, the Fiesta Jam is a music and wine festival that is coming up this weekend. And John, uh, tell us how this whole idea came about for to do this thing. You spoke with Robert Linder recently. Yeah, yeah. Robert, Robert and I both approached the chamber independently. <laughs> and Bill Reeves of the chamber said, you guys need to talk. You guys want to do the same thing. You mm -hmm. want to both hold a music festival of significance in Marble Falls. Yeah. And so uh, I didn't realize that I already knew him. He'd been coming to my shows for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, this guy... He gets things done. I, I notice how many think how you know how yeah. many hats he wears and what he does, and he gets a lot of things done. So I said, let's do this. And so we went on a leap of faith. And a lot of folks said, you know, well, you might, you know, since you're getting started doing this, why don't you wait until you have everything perfect and then do it next year? And we said, no, we need to pull the trigger and go there ahead and go. get going. Yeah, and, give it and a when, shot. And when Tim uh, Stollard came aboard and things started falling into place, and of course Rick Neighbor will be here a little bit later to talk about the wine element. Mm -hmm. And when he came aboard, uh, that really added an extra component that brought a lot of attention to it. Yeah. Definitely. Now let's talk about the event itself and the and the lineup that is going to be going on, because uh, now Friday night is kind of a VIP party kind of thing, right? Yes, people can can support our festival by paying uh, for the 150 patron package, and that includes two passes to all of the events mm -hmm. and the in that is a small sponsorship that almost anybody can afford right, right. And, and that sponsorship party will entitle you to the to the event that we're going to do at the uptown theater from mm -hmm. 6 to 8 p.m with alex harvey the legendary songwriter yeah, he was, was here in the yeah, studio so awesome. i just Love had him. dinner with him last night and chuck woolery chuck woolery is going to do something rare he's actually going to sing a song oh really? right yeah I well, I'm impressed. I did not know he sang. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, on the, starting at noon on Saturday is when the afternoon concerts and the wine and craft beer tasting uh, start, right? Yes, Brady Bill will kick it off, and he's got a following in the Austin area, and of course he's from Marble Falls. Mm -hmm. You know, he's uh, he's coming home for homecoming, yeah, basically. <laughs> and uh, and then I'll go on with my band Tejas. Uh, I'll bring the whole arsenal out there, including <laughs> that crazy fiddler that everybody loves, and that great guitar player from Burnett, Chris Reeves, and Luis Coutinho, the Brazilian percussionist, and our bass player Mark Epstein, and wow. and then after uh, after that we'll have uh, uh, Rex do his rock show yeah and rex can rock it uh, rex was a superstar here in the in central texas and he's also a marble falls and he native. he's a marble falls grad and he i was telling ed because he's a big guitar lover as yeah. you know and i know he's gonna he's gonna love rex paul we can't you say. should see his youtube uh, oh videos where he does it all on one guitar oh, i gotta it's watch amazing. that he's really amazing do. now and then sunday it's uh, going oh, to i didn't want to forget gospel. vallejo is going to close oh yeah the show. Vallejo. Oh, vallejo saturday night and then sunday though let's talk about the gospel show 
because I like the fact that you're mixing some gospel music. Well, we want to invite and incorporate all aspects of our community and to ignore the faith-based community in such a faith-based, community-driven kind of place, Mm -hmm. you know, would be really foolish for us. We want to make sure everybody feels included. Right. Right. And uh, and Rex uh, leads the worship at some of the biggest uh, events and churches in Nashville, and and, uh, we're excited to have Rex do that. Uh, I'm also going to do... Rex didn't want to play the whole three hours, so <laughs> so I'm going to do some, and Alex is going to do some as well. Cool. And I heard Chris Cagle too. Is he coming? Uh, not Chris Cagle. Oh, no. I that, might be, that might be oh, a different. Oh no, he's friends with. <laughs> never mind. He's never friends. Mind. Rex is, That's Rex is friends with everybody. Ahead. Now, John, uh, <laughs> yesterday we had some calls on this, uh, but uh, y'all are, are going to be giving away an acoustic Fender guitar that's signed by Willie Nelson. We are going to sell five dollar raffle tickets. All right, Sweet. and uh, you know, so buy uh, buy them by the hundreds, <laughs> and uh, and then we're going to give that away at the very uh, the closing of the ceremonies on Sunday. All, All right, right. Fantastic. so we'll be selling them all through the Friday night, Saturday and uh, and Sunday during the festival and we'll give it away the last thing. And remember all of the money raised uh, will be going to the Marble Falls High School and Harmony School of Music programs. It's a great thing that you're doing. How do people go and get their tickets if they want to buy them in advance? You can buy them directly from one of the people who benefits. That's Barbara Bend at Harmony School of Creative Arts or you can get them from one of our sponsors. Mm-hmm. That's uh, the Pottery Ranch. They're, uh, they're doing some ads here on K-Bay. Yeah, they're even like giving something away. They're giving with a flower the pot with each ticket that you get. Yeah, that's How cool. can you go wrong uh, Or there? you can get them at one of our other uh, uh, co-sponsors. A lot of people don't realize that the R-Bar is donating half the food for our Friday oh, wow. VIP event. And so I want to thank uh, thank them for doing so. And they're going to also be selling food at the festival. So Fantastic. you can get them at the R-Bar or you can get them online. Yeah, FiestaJam.org right. okay, we'll We're, run, we're running out of time, but I want to thank uh, Tim Stollard, President of ProLink, uh, for being here. And of course, John Arthur Martinez, uh, who's uh, putting this whole thing together and a big singer and songwriter. Everybody knows he's got his get fiddle. What are you going to do for us this morning? Oh, I thought I'd do something to wake the, f- the folks listening out there. All right, there. let's do it. take this one little top of the hour on K-Bay. <laughs> John Arthur Martinez. Y'all sing along. Well, there's a big armadillo in the middle of a little old country road. An old brown bottle in a puddle of the cattle guard. A June bug beetle in the bottom of the bottle of the big armadillo in the middle of a little old country road that I am traveling on. There's a red-headed rider with a radio rearing and the windows down, rocking and reeling to the rhythm of the country sounds. Got his 18 wheeler with pedal to the metal, and he's headed for the dillo and a bottle in the middle of a little old country road I'm traveling on. Well, he swerved to the right, to Dillow in the middle. He swerved to the left, to the puddle in the guard. Next thing you know, he's coming at me. Diver the barge, what do I see? Big on the in the middle of a little old country road. An old brown bottle in the puddle of the cattle guard. A June bug beetle in the bottom of the bottle of the big on the in the middle of a little old country road that I am traveling on. Now y'all sing along next time. <laughs> Here's that sing along part. Big on middle in the middle of a little old country road. Yeah. Old brown bottle in the puddle of the cattle guard. Sing it, Kay. There's a Junebug beetle, bottom of the bottle of the big on middle in the middle of a little old country road that I am driving on. <laughs> yeah! John Arthur Martinez, everybody. Good job, John. We'll see you this weekend at Fiesta Jam. Thank you.